Hey everyone, Mehul here. Numbers are interesting in computers because you can store them into binary and play them inside memory. However, things get interesting when you're talking about decimals. A lot of modern programming languages follows IEEE 754 system for storing decimal numbers, which includes support for decimals, sure, but it also includes support for a lot of other things. Infinity, negative infinity, not a number, not a number. Let's talk about that. Not a number is technically a number, but it just means that that number is not a number. So why would you need that? Well, languages like JavaScript try to typecast everything and, you know, just make sure that nothing crashes at any time. So if you're dividing, say, mehul as a string by two, which absolutely does not make any sense, JavaScript would try to typecast the string into a number. And of course, mehul is not a number. That's how you get it. So what JavaScript would do, instead of crashing the whole program and burning the building down, it will convert that result into not a number. All right, but what's special about this? This object in JavaScript is the only object which is not equal to itself. By that, what I mean is that if you try to assign not a number to a variable, that variable is not equal to itself, which sounds absolutely crazy if you have never heard about it. Why? Because you don't want mehul divided by two to equal bad programmer divided by two, because both are not a number, but clearly, absolutely mehul is not a bad programmer, right? But there is a catch. If you take a look at this code snippet, you're gonna see not a number as an element of an array of length one, dot includes not a number actually gives you true. Why is that? Clearly, we established the fact that not a number is not equal to itself. That means that includes not a number should technically report it as false because it is comparing equality of some sort, right? Or is it? Well, you see that dot includes follows a different algorithm for equality. In JavaScript, we have a lot of ways to check for equality. It's not just double equal to and triple equal to. You have object.is and then you have a same value zero algorithm. Let's talk about triple equal to because as professional JavaScript developer, you will realize that you should always use triple equal to. So if you use triple equal to with not a number, you'll still get it as false that the object is not equal to itself. However, like I said, in JavaScript, dot includes uses another type of algorithm for comparison that is called same value zero algorithm. This algorithm is basically like using triple equal to, but with the only exception that is in this algorithm, not a number is in fact equal to not a number. How we can see that in the MDN chart, which is available to us, you see the four methods of comparison double equal to, triple equal to, object.is, and same value zero algorithm. So what's happening in this algorithm? How do you design this in JavaScript? Well, as you can see from the table, this is basically just like using triple equal to all the time, except for the fact when two numbers are not a number. So you can manually hard code that logic into same value zero algorithm if you want to design it yourself and have a snippet like this for you. And now you have your own same value zero algorithm. But object.is differs slightly in the sense that positive zero and negative zero are not equal in object.is comparison. And that is something you should know as well. These little edge cases form great interview questions and great mind teasers as well. <laughs> JavaScript is a weird language and the more you learn every day, the more you learn that how much you don't even know. If you learned something from this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Like right now, like the video and subscribe to the channel share it with others. Tell me what you think about this new thing which you just learned today in the comments below. Would love to get your opinion. It'll help me consistently put out great content. That is all for this video and I'm going to see you in the next one.